now at 10, seniors called this space home for decades. Now they're seeing their rents double. Why the CEO says this has to happen. I'm trying to save this business. As Colorado struggles to hire and keep educators, lawmakers push to attract more out-of-state teachers. Coloradans are in for a stunning weekend, but just around the corner, another chance for snow. And the pandemic shut down streets to cars and opened them up to pedestrians. Now Denver wants to hear from you as they make it permanent. The news starts now. Well, it is a story that too many Coloradans can relate. And I'm Michael Spencer. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. This is the second derailment involving a light rail train in the last year. You might remember in Aurora last September, the train jumped off the tracks of the R line. This past weekend, it happened again, this time in Golden near the courthouse. Our Rick Salinger covers Jefferson. Now to your other top stories before we cover Colorado first at five tragedy off the coast of San Diego this past weekend. Authorities say at least eight people died when two migrant smuggling boats flipped over in shallow but rough waters during heavy fog. It's believed to be one of the deadliest human smuggling operations ever. We're covering Colorado First on CBS News Colorado at 6 o'clock. A family moves into their new home. Then, that same day, it is destroyed in the Marshall Fire. Now, they are fighting to get their everyday expenses.